Years ago, I worked on an animation with a fellow Lightwave artist by the name of Kurt Larson uh, called Will I Am. Uh, and it was a, a fun little Dr. Seuss style animation. And we did some, some pretty neat stuff in it. And I thought I'd share how we pulled off one of the elements that people ask all the time how we, uh, how we did it. They usually think that uh, we use dynamics. Uh, but we actually used a, a really simple tool to use called Effector. Uh, let's take a look at the clip. And, uh, and then we'll come back and uh, see how to set that up. So as the character was coming down the red pipe, uh, the pipe was being uh, displaced. It was deforming into kind of a spherical shape. So let's go ahead and set that up. I'm going to start by creating a, a disk. Okay. And make sure you have lots of segments. If you, um, if you use the left arrow key, you can reduce segments. If you use the right arrow key, you can add segments. Okay. And we'll call that our tube. I'm going to go ahead and remove the top and bottom polygon and hit tab so that we can work with sub patches or subdivisional surfaces and let's save that out so save object as and we'll call this tube 001 save and we'll send this over to layout so I've got my uh, tube here and now I need something to displace it so let's make a null object and we'll call this uh, ball. And let's actually give it a ball shape. Okay, I'm going to take a look at how big that is. Now, it doesn't look like it's really filling up this area. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and size this up just visually so that we can see. So object, properties. We'll come over to the geometry tab and under item shape ball, double click. And for scale, let's try four. Um, and let's actually go to five so that it's it's bigger than the the tube that we're working with here so I can close that down and I'm gonna select the the cylinder here this tube come over to the deform tab and under add displacement I'm gonna choose effector double click and the effector objects what's gonna be affecting it well it's looking for the name and the by default it's effector but we called our null ball and when I hit enter it says tracking one effectors because it only found one object starting with ball now if I had multiple nulls called ball one two three four it could find all of those as well okay so we'll click OK and what you see happening already is that um, half of our uh, tube disappeared if I select the null and move it it's it's almost as if it's erasing the tube let's take a look and see why that might be if I come back to my settings the effector shape is a plane down the Y I can make it down the Z and it's flattening it down the Z down the X and I'm flattening it down the X but what I really want is the effector shape to be a point okay so now when I move if I come back over here 
and I change my, nothing happened because what I need to do is change my size to match the size of uh, what I did visually. So I go back over to ball and as I move this, it deforms the object. And it does it in real time. It's not using dynamics. It's just displacing the geometry. And it's a really fast way to uh, have something uh, you know, neat like uh, the character going through the tube. If I hit H for stretch, I can actually change the shape of that sphere to more of an oval shape. And of course, that changes the shape of how it's going to displace it. So a really easy tool to work with. It's the effector tool found under the deform tab under add displacement.